Whitman Gravimetric Blenders provide real-time, live-scale precision blending. The unique metering method by Long Life Metering Valves achieves the most precise dispensing for batch-to-batch -batch consistency and accuracy. This avoids the overuse of high-cost resins. The mixing chamber is ball-shaped for equal and perfect blending quality. Here is one of Whitman's Gravimax Series 3 blenders, and today I'm going to go over how to operate this unit. On the main screen you are shown the recipe name, which is found in the top left corner, the date, time, and the user, found in the top right area, the weight, which is found in the bottom left corner, and the status, which is in the bottom middle, and batches, which is in the bottom right corner. We have color coded the hopping numbers as shown. One is yellow, which is virgin. Two is orange, which is regrind. And three and four are both green, which shows additives. Dosing modes are shown with these symbols. Standard mode is shown with this symbol right here. The high yield is shown here. And the high accuracy is shown here. The status is shown with different colors. Ag active progress bar is purple. Inactive progress bar would show a green color. And stop, the progress bar would be gray. By pressing the play button, the currently loaded recipe, either a locally modified recipe or a recipe from the recipe database, runs as a batch until stopped. With pause, the current batch will be stopped immediately. After repressing the play button, the batch started at the place where it was stopped before. A valid batch is created. With stop, the current batch is still finished. After ending the batch, the blender stops dosing. Reset. If you hold the stop button for a few seconds, all current parameters are reset and the current batch immediately stops. By resetting the blender, the material in the way pan is not a valid batch. If no user is logged in, a key appears in the upper display. Press the key or another point on the display, tap the input box on the screen, then enter your password. Now we make our way to the function menu. Information contains the name and version of the blender. It also shows the batch and the material consumption per component. The throughput per hour is calculated after each batch specifically runs for an hour worth of batches. Perform file transfers to get all available files, batch history, alarm history, recipe file, parameter files, and save them as a CSV file via the USB port of the power panel to a USB stick. Now if you want to load a recipe from or to the USB stick, you can press this button to save all materials and recipes stored in the recipe management on a USB stick. Or you can press this button to load stored materials and recipes from the USB stick in the recipe management. And then by pressing this button, you'll reset all values back to zero. Now we are going to make our way back to the batch mode section. Tap the input box on the screen to enter the number of batches and confirm the input. Now we make our way to the auto tuning section. The purpose of auto-tuning is to calibrate the flow characteristics of each ingredient to assist in the accuracy and consistency of the blender operations. You can select those components or valves for which auto-tuning should be performed. Depending on how many components in a recipe are used, the software detects automatically which components must be configured. Components to be configured are indicated by the illuminated bar. If a component is defined with the high yield mode, there must be no auto-tuning. If any specific component is selected as bulky, this allows for materials that are not free-flowing. If this feature is selected, enter the free fall limit value of 9,999 grams. This high value can never be achieved, and the controller will automatically pulse any bulky selected component. Now we are going to make our way to the manual operation section. This allows for the operator to have complete control over all parts of the unit. Next we are going to get to the alarm list. One of the advantages of our alarm menu is that it does not require any login as a single menu. 
Alarms must be confirmed and completed by pressing the button above. If not, the error message repeats, the warning light illuminates, and the alarm will continue to go off. You can check out the alarm history by clicking this button. This folder will show the last 100 alarms to go off. After viewing your alarm history, you can either press the alarm button to get back to the alarm list, or you can press the back button to get you back to the main window. Next, I'm going to cover the recipe management section. In this tab, a new recipe can be created and an existing recipe can be edited or deleted. In addition, the used recipes and materials are stored in a database and can be edited here. Now, to create a new recipe, you are going to need to enter the following information. Enter a recipe name, uh, the materials that you're going to use, the batch size is the size of the batch weight in percent if the throughput is given. The target size is the size of the target weight in kilograms and percent. And the mode decides the dosing procedure, which there are three different kinds. The standard, the high yield, and the high accuracy. When choosing a type of material, if regrind is selected, a further window appears. If the level sensor finds no regrind material available, it is replaced with the virgin material. The second box specifies the number of batches to be carried out with the new recipe. If this quantity runs out, it will fall back to its original recipe. Now I'm going to go back and go to the material management section. This folder shows the individual materials which are stored in the material database. These are defined by the index numbers, the material name, material code, density, and the total weight. To create new material for the database, press the new button enter the material name, the material code, and then confirm with the OK button. If you choose to edit material, you can press the edit button, edit the parameters, put the weight back with the re reset button, and then confirm with the OK button. You also have the option to load a recipe to the material database. Press the load from blender or the load to blender buttons to load the recipe from the blender in the graphical user interface. Confirm the security question with the OK button. Now I'm going to go back and get to the configuration menu. Within Blender setup, you can input some important information for your Blender to run properly and most efficiently. The max batch size is the maximum weight of a batch that can be carried out in a single batch. Size depends on the device, but we can go anywhere from the 1 series, which is uh, 1 kilograms, or up to the 27 series, which is a batch size of 27 kilograms. Here is the high accuracy batch correction limit. This gives the maximum weight which can be corrected per batch, which is indicated with the percent symbol. The batch alarm time. The batch needs longer than the entered time, and alarm is triggered. Free fall measure period indicates the maximum time period between closing the metering value and display of the measured value. Continuous alarm. A light is activated. If this option is not activated, a flashing warning signal occurs. And lastly, it is possible that local conditions may cause vibrations that could affect the actual weight. This option allows a greater tolerance in the measurement and can filter out possible measurement inaccuracies. Now when we go back, we're going to get to the interfaces section. All the settings for connections and locations are determined in this tab. The Mixer tab allows you to make some key adjustments to your unit. If the continuous mixing box is checked, uh, the mixer continues regardless of whether material is present or not. Uh, the past mixing, after the regular mixing, a second mixing process of material in the ball mixer is carried out. Stop sensor mixing, there is no mixing process started, although the sensor detects material in the ball mixer. And the pneumatic mixer. This is defined as a pneumatically driven mixing motor. Uh, by enabling this option, an additional option, pulse time, is displayed. In the pulse time, the time is adjusted, which lies between the mixing passages. The component folder allows you to create and edit recipes. The parameter folder allows you to choose between various components and thus define the parameters for each component specifically. If the target value of a component is more than the free fall limit, a free fall is carried out. If the target value of a component is less than the free fall limit, then the free fall is not performed. 
The target pulse range specifies the offset which needs to be achieved complied by pulsing. Uh, the target correction indicates the shift of the offset. Maximum pulse sequence specifies the maximum number of pulse sequences which should be used to achieve the target weight. Between the various pulse sequences, the actual weight is measured. The material alarm time specifies the window of time to be recognized on whether material is present or not. And then you also have the option to trigger an alarm if the tolerance is exceeded, which is set below in the acceptance window. In this folder, you can calibrate your scale. Follow the steps and make sure that your scale is completely empty before tearing it. All information about the settings on the way bin are achieved by this menu. And then lastly, you can find all the information about the device in the settings of language, users, and system data within this folder. And now I'm going to go back to the main screen. With the view button, you can change the view of each component on the main window. You can switch the weight indication to kilograms, grams, or as a percentage. And lastly, we have the quick editor feature. By clicking anywhere on the main screen, you can get to the quick editor feature. Here you have the ability to quickly create a new recipe. So this pretty much sums up how to operate our blender using the control panel. For further instructions, please see our operating manual to get more in depth or call our service department with questions.